So the best thing we can do, I think, is to get out of their way and let them carry on. Joanna Burketto has been waiting a long 13 years for this. I've got friends down the street who still don't have any. To watch these little critters emerge from the ground. Sunday I saw the first molt, the first exoskeleton, and then Sunday the first live one. And then I had about 20 yesterday and must be about 40 today. Burketto is a certified Tennessee naturalist, so this phenomenon is exciting. I want to see if he's not ready to fly. Oh, I think he might fly. Yeah. For her, cicadas are special. Not only are they known for their red beady eyes and wings, but also their melodies. So we've got four species with their four songs and four different choruses. And that's what's going to get, hopefully, deafening, you know, for maybe a couple of weeks in there, right in the middle. They were expected to emerge a little later this month, but some are coming out early. So they time their emergences to come out in a great big mass so that the predators get sick of them. And if the predators don't get them, they spend their short time above ground looking for a mate to create babies. They just want to live their best lives for maybe two to four weeks maximum, and then they're dead. So This is what the cicada will look like when it's ready to start flying, and that guy won't go very far. In fact, it will stay within 100 meters from where it hatched. Burketto doesn't want people to fear them. They don't bite, they don't sting, they don't carry diseases. Even though some people do find them annoying. They hurt their ears, they fly into their hair, they get peed on, which could happen, but no big deal. But she encourages people to have an open mind. Getting that front shot with the eyeballs is so funny. Maybe even help some find a plant or tree along the way. Here, you go here, honey. Because you won't get the opportunity to see this brood again for another 13 years. And it's such a spectacle of our natural world right here with us that I feel like we all need to see it, watch it, you know, ask about it, um, maybe even enjoy it a little. In Nashville, Erin Kentrell, News Channel 5.